Hey guys, EVP Man here, and if you've been a fan of the Nura phones, well, I have a review for you. This is EVP Man Tech Reviews, and today we're gonna take a look at the brand new Nura Loops. They're portable, they sound amazing, and you're gonna wanna watch this video. Let's get right to it. Now, when the newer phones will launch to the market, they basically were a disruptor in the headphone space for several reasons. First, they were the first in the kind to have an over-the-ear experience that also had an in-ear experience. So take a look at the cups here, how you can see that there's some inserts that go in your ear. So you had an immersive experience because it covered your ears, and then you have the inner ear that went inside of your ear, giving you even a more amazing experience. The second thing that they did, which was really uncommon, I haven't seen this happen in the market at all, is that they brought active noise canceling to a set of headphones that didn't have them when they first launched. So literally with a firmware upgrade, you now have active noise canceling with these. The other thing that they have, which was a first of their kind, is they had an adaptive audio tuning technology that basically learned how you heard or how you hear and basically adjusted the audio to suit your hearing needs. You heard that right. And this isn't a beep, beep, beep where you're pushing a button when you hear it or not, like you do when you go to um, a hearing test. But this is actually a series of patterns, a noise that goes in your ear and it basically calibrates the hearing based on its interpretation of your hearing abilities. A lot to, to like. So today we're gonna talk about the successor. So if you like these, but you found that you couldn't use them at the gym or you couldn't use them on the run, well, you're gonna love the Neuralope. So today we're gonna take a look at the Neuralope we're going to look at the audio quality. We're going to look at the call quality. And both of these are going to be EBP man style audio and call quality test. We're also going to take a look at all the features and why you'd want to consider this as your next headphones or headset or earbuds. Which is it? Let's check it out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon and choose all to get notified when new videos become available. Now before taking a closer look at the neural loop, let's check out some of the specs that we have here. So first of all, you do have that personalized sound. You literally go through an audio test that personalized the hearing experience so that you get the best audio experience. The second thing that you have is active noise canceling. You heard that right. These come with active noise canceling capabilities. And they also have the ability to support transparency mode. So not only do you get the, the noise canceling, but you also get the transparency mode. You also then have Bluetooth with AppDeck support. And this is something that's unique. I've never seen this before. These are Bluetooth wireless headphones that have a wired connection that allows you to use these on a plane uh, to connect it to a monitor or to connect it to any device that supports a standard audio jack that you can obviously convert to a USB-C. But that is a first in their kind. I've never seen that before either. You also then have touch dial, so there's no physical buttons that we're gonna see uh, soon. And then you have your, obviously your social mode, which is your transparency mode. And then for those of you who wanna use these for, let's say for workouts, if you're an athlete, you wanna run with these, well, you can do that too, because they do have an IPX rating that's gonna allow you to use these in the gym. And then you get a 16 hour battery life, which is pretty good too. So in addition to the 16 hours, if you do happen to run out of power and you wanna get a quick charge, 10 minutes is gonna give you two additional hours of usage. Pretty amazing. Let's check out what's in the box. Now inside the box, you're gonna find your neural loop. You're gonna find a travel case, a small, a large, and an extra large ear tip that you can switch out with the ones that they currently have on. And you're gonna have two adapters. You're gonna have this proprietary adapter, it's magnetic, for charging. Now this is the cool piece. You also then get a secondary adapter, and this secondary adapter looks the same as the first one, but instead of charging, it has an audio jack. Isn't that cool? So you'll be able to plug these into, you know, any device that supports an audio jack. There's a lot still. Now, let's take a close look at the uh, Neural Loops themselves. Now, the Neural Loop have a really unique fit and look. Uh, they look more like ear monitors. So if you look at you know, any uh, person who is a musician, um, a, a professional musician, or a singer, you'll notice that they have these monitors in their ear that cover their ears really well so they can get the best audio experience and they can hear themselves as they're singing. Well, these use that same same look. So you can notice that they, they're larger, much larger than the other earbuds that we've looked at, but it's because they're more like those type of monitors that I just highlighted. Now, while... It's kind of hard to say if these fall into the true wireless earbud category because, uh, once again, they are wireless, but because they're actually connected, um, I don't know what category you'd put them in. So let me know what you think in the common area. But it definitely has a, a, um, a neck band to it. You can see how the neck goes behind right here. And then this is the area that's really cool. Uh, this is the proprietary connector that's gonna allow you to charge as well as put this um, with an audio cable. So you can do both things. Now, each one of the earbuds have a left and right indicator, and neither of them um, have a switch to turn them on. As soon as you grab them and put them on your ear, 
they turn on. When you put them off, they auto off as well. Now, they do have transparency mode. They do have mics. They also, um, I haven't noticed that they support auto pause yet. I've taken them out of my ear and they haven't stopped automatically. So that's just one thing to highlight. Um, and they can uh, support being paired to multiple devices, but they do not support auto connect. Uh, so what I mean by this is that while you can pair them to m several devices at the same time, if you had a tablet and a phone, and let's say you're watching a movie and a phone call comes in, they're not going to automatically switch. But all you have to do is disconnect one connection to get the other connection going. Let me show you how these look. Now from a look perspective, this is what you do to put them on. I'm just going to put them around my ear. I'm going to put them like this. And then I'm going to put these in. And then I'm going to turn them around. So that's what it would look like right here. And then what you're going to do is you use this area here to adjust it to the level that you would like to tighten it up or not. Now, when you put these on for the very first time, you're going to go through a setup process. And that's not only going to include an audio test to give you the best experience, but it's also going to include a, um, a, a seal test. Mm -hmm. So looking at, you know, how the fit is to make sure that you're, you get a really good seal. Now, I will say they do look larger because they have that, again, that monitor look. But... I have to say that they are very comfortable. Um, using it for an extended period of time, so as long as you have the right gel piece, you'll be fine because you do get the support that you have with this here. Also, I've already taken these on a run, and this little thing right here, you'll notice that it doesn't really flap that much for me. Uh, it basically uh, does a real nice job of uh, staying there uh, and staying in place. So it didn't bother me either for a run. Uh, had no problems also you know, using it for phone calls in an office setting either. So overall, this is what they look like. They definitely don't fall out. So if I do a shake test, you know, they're not going to move because, again, they go deep in your ear. And then also they have this loop keeping it in place. So that's what they look like. And let's talk about sound next. Now, from an audio perspective, these sound really, really good. Um, bass, mids, and highs are there. And it's really hard to say if it's going to be warm, if it's going to be bright, you know, because you're getting a customized hearing experience based on what you like to hear. I will tell you that there's an incredible amount of detail coming from these earbuds. The bass is present. Uh, and you do have the ability to either uh, have a more immersive experience or not with the audio. And we're going to be doing an EBP Man style audio test where you're going to be able to put on some headphones and then you yourself are going to hear the differences that I get. Now, keep in mind that these are calibrated for my hearing. So when you put these on, they're going to calibrate for yours and yours alone. Now, if you have multiple people that are using these, you can set up different profiles. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, the neural loops don't really have any physical buttons, which means that as you tap them, you're not going to be pressing them really hard in your ear like some other earbuds do. So the neat thing about that is it's going to be a real soft touch. So if I were, for example, to tap just like this, I turned on active noise canceling. If I tap again, I turned it off. I also can rotate to increase or decrease the setting, and I could do the same thing on this side. Now, the neat thing about this is that they're fully programmable inside of the app. So next, let's check out the audio quality. Put on your headphones, put on your earbuds so that you can hear what I hear based on my hearing. So this is fully tuned to how my ears listen. Let's get right to it. You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me. I won't be stumbling in the dark. Your eyes are shining like the stars. I was down. Until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile. I'm moving closer to. Now, next, we're going to cycle through active noise and transparency mode. Let's go ahead and do that. There you have it. Let me know what you thought about that audio test in the comment area below. Now next we're going to do a call quality test of the neural loops in a quiet environment. As you take a look at our decibel readings, anywhere from 22 to 23 decibels of noise. I have my central air going right now. So let's go ahead and switch. Now this is the call quality of the neural loops in a quiet environment. This is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. The next test is we're going to do a wind test in this quiet environment. So let's go ahead and turn on our fan. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fan right by my face. Now this is a test of the neural loops in a quiet environment using a fan simulating outdoor wind hitting in your face. This is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. Next, let's go into a noisy environment. Now we're doing a call quality test of the neural loops in a noisy environment. If you take a look at my decibel readings, they've gone up quite significantly. You're looking at anywhere from 30 all the way up to 79 decibels of noise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to the neural loops. When we switch, we'll stay quiet and see how much of the ambient noise is being canceled. And then we'll do the noise windy test as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Now this is a test of the neural loops in a noisy environment. This is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. This is what the neural loops sound like in a noisy environment. Next, we're gonna go into a windy noise environment. So let's go ahead and turn on our fan again. Now we're gonna put our fan close to our face. And this is what the neural loops sound like when taking a phone call in a noisy environment with wind. This is a test, one, two, three, this is a test. Let me know what you thought about the call quality with the included fan and noise tests in the comment area below. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Neuraloop. Let me know what you thought about this product in the comment area below. Would love to hear from you.